in this series we are discussing about the 24 important incarnations of lord vishnu which is mentioned in bhagavata purana this is part 7 the 16th avatar of lord vishnu is hayagriva daman hayagriva was son of sej kashyapa and danu he did not want the human race to take the benefits of the four vedas therefore he stole vedas from lord brahma the daman had lower body as that of a human and a horse head he had a boon that he could be killed by another hayagriva only hence lord vishnu took incarnation as another hayagriva and killed the daman to bring back vedas for lord brahma there are various legends telling about the daman hayagriva some stories mention him as the daman warrior who appeared in a chariot drawn by 1000 horses during the fight with taragasura to fight against lord vishnu other stories mention that he is rebirth of daman madhu and kaidava in the form of hayagriva however the incarnation of lord vishnu as hayagriva to kill this daman is worshiped as the god of knowledge and wisdom with a human body and a horse head with white garments and seated on a lotus symbolically the story represents the triumph of pure knowledge guided and preserved by the hand of god over the demonic forces of passion and darkness the 17th avataram is vamana this is the incarnation of lord vishnu in the form of vamana a dwarf brahmin to give benediction to daman king mahabali mahabali was the grandson of prahlada his father is virojana and mother is vishalakshi after churning of the ocean the devas became immortal and powerful indra's army defeated daityraj beli and his army of asuras one day beli went to meet shukrajarya and asked him ajarya please show me a way to gain back all my powers and my kingdom ajarya asked him to perform the mahapishek vishwajit yajna to get back all his powers mahabali agreed to do the yajna under the supervision of shukrajarya after the yajna mahabali received a golden chariot pulled by four horses that ran at the speed of wind he also got a quiver with numerous arrows that flag post with lion head so on he also has a divine celestial armor along with these things shukrajarya gave him a garland of ever blooming flowers and a conch shell whose battle cry was thunderous with this mahabali challenged indra and defeated him in the battle indra fled from the battlefield bali once again asked for shukrajarya's guidance to maintain his victorious position shukrajarya asked him to keep on performing yajnas so that he can live a fearless and powerful life mahabali readily agreed to do so meanwhile 
Indra approached Ajarya Brahaspati to learn a way to gain back powers. Ajarya Brahaspati asked Indra to seek help of Lord Vishnu. For that, Indra started doing penance to please Lord Vishnu. At that time, Indra's mother Aditi, wife of sage Kashyaba, saw her son in trouble and went to Lord Vishnu for help. Lord Vishnu said that he will take birth as her own son in the near future to take away Mahabali's power. And so it happened that Aditi gave birth to a boy. He was named as Vamana. Vamana posed as a little Brahmin and went to the place where Mahabali was performing a yajna. Mahabali welcomed the Brahmin boy and it was customary to offer something to Brahmins who come for the yajna. Mahabali asked, How can I help you, young Brahmin? The Brahmin boy said, I have heard a lot about you give alms to Brahmins. I do not want wealth or luxuries. I just need the land that my three steps can cover. All the people who were present there were surprised to hear the request of the Brahmin boy. The demons laughed at the boy's request. Mahabali immediately agreed to grant him what he asked. Suddenly, to everyone's surprise, the young Brahmin boy started growing big in size. Soon, he was larger than planet Earth itself. He took a large step and put it on Earth to claim it and said, Now the Earth is mine. Then he took the second step and put it on Amaravati, heaven, which was under Beli's control and said, Now Amaravati is mine. With that, Amaravati was also under Vamana's possession. Then he asked Mahabali, Where should I keep my third step? Earth and heaven are already mine. Now there is no place left. Shukrajarya warned Mahabali, Be careful, Beli. I am very sure this Brahmin is not an ordinary boy. He is Lord Vishnu himself. Don't let him take the third step or you will have to lose everything you have. But Beli said, Ajarya, I have given him my word. I cannot go back from it. It is he who gave me all that I am having today. He got the right to take it back. At this time, Shukrajarya cursed Bali, saying, Because of disobeying me, you shall very soon lose all your opponents. Bali then addressed Vamana and said, as nothing else is left, you may keep your third step on my head. Hearing Belly's words, Lord Vishnu appeared in his true form and said, I bless you, Mahabali. From now on, you will rule Padala Loka forever. Actually, the Lord did not punish Mahabali. Instead, he gave the complete Padana Loga as a blessing where there is no fight for position. In Kerala, there is slight addition in this story. Here, Mahabali is allowed to visit every year to see the well-being of his countrymen and that day is celebrated as Onam. Now, let us see what this story teaches us. The word Mahabali means a great sacrifice. 
we have to get to rid of our weaknesses from our mind heaven is blissful but sutalam is respect we may lose many things in our life but your mind should not get upset that condition of mind is mahabali now kalam the time means our experience every day we lose two steps in our life one is night and the other is day you know that health is wealth but slowly it is taken away by these two steps every day finally the third step will come on our head that means when our health and wealth diminishes and only thoughts of lord will remain when our mind also is offered to the god we will get a world full of respect in short we should not get upset in losing whatever we gained we should continue to be honest and selfless thank you and we shall come with some more incarnations in the coming part